What's going on everybody today? We are going to be attempting to create a giant SpongeBob popsicle sculpture. I know, how exciting! Let's go to the store and buy some supplies. Okay, for the giant popsicle supplies, I came to Michael's, so let's make a giant SpongeBob popsicle. Okay, I'm in the foam section. This is how we're gonna construct a giant SpongeBob popsicle using foam. You know what? I think this is actually big enough. So if we did this, we're gonna have to carve it. These would be the eyes. Anything else? Paint. Oh, the glue. Now I know that like spray paint eats away at foam, some types of foam. So I need to figure out what kind of paint to buy because I don't know. This is all experimental. This is what Brent TV does. I experiment. I'm trying to figure out what eyes would be better. I think these ones. I think these ones are too small. What are you looking at, bro? I kind of want a foam head for my desk to like hold my glasses. It's actually kind of funny. This can like hold my SpongeBob hat. Oh my God, I should make like, I should paint it. Like turn this into me. Now we need something that would act as the popsicle stick. I'm also repping a popsicle outfit right now and I want to show you. A lot of people say like, what do I think about going in public with a camera? I don't care what people think. I think that's the best attitude to have towards life is just not care about people or what they think because people are cruel, man. This is going to act as our giant popsicle stick. Well, this is weird. These are the three colors you need for SpongeBob popsicles, but look, this one has a little bit of lemonade on top, so kind of cool. So if you buy this paint, you get a free sip of lemonade. If the cashier says anything to me, I'm an art teacher and I'm getting ready to teach my students how to paint Ronald McDonald on a foam head. It's a good idea. Oh, a little roller, that'd be nice. Throw the YouTube ad revenue away. Okay, well, I think we got everything we need. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, what are you doing with all of that stuff? You must be doing some home improvement work. <laughs> no, I'm making a giant SpongeBob popsicle. Good day. Coffee, I need coffee. I was up at 5.30 this morning. I used to work at this Dunkin' Donuts, so if you're in Pittsburgh and you ever pass it, Brent TV used to work here. I was a baker, even though all the donuts are frozen. I found that out when I was working. They're like, yeah, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in the freezer, take the donuts out, let them thaw out. And I'm like, wait, what? Shame on you, Dunkin' Donuts. Now I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get a medium iced coffee with cream? Okay. That's all. Thank you. Now when I worked here back in the day, senior year of high school, coffees were 288. Now they're 309. I'm gonna sue. Duncan, I think we need a Brent TV drink. I mean, we had the Charlie. What about like a Brenty? Where it's just something so bizarre. That'd be a good idea. Okay, I'm home now. And the fun thing about this is we're gonna be making this outdoors. I mean, who doesn't love nature? I mean, look at that beautiful tree. How could I forget my SpongeBob glasses? So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta take this foam and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna carve it into a SpongeBob popsicle shape thing. This is fun because we can just make up whatever I wanna do. Careful if you ever do this though. I'd, I'd recommend like doing it with someone who knows what they're doing. This is not gonna be a perfect SpongeBob popsicle. This is gonna be a really uh, funny one. So we got the carving. Now we gotta go ahead and we gotta start painting this thing, which we'll do in the grass. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Good thing I bought a lot. Oh, we already need more. Get off of it, fly. Don't ruin my art project. We need lots of paint. It's kind of funny because it looks kind of spongy, but I think that will, you know, benefit us. Dude, I was thinking about buying one little yellow paint I'm so glad I did it. I'm an artist. Oh, what do you specialize in? Oh, uh, painting and uh, making models of giant SpongeBob popsicles. Oh, okay. Great, okay. We got that done. We're gonna go ahead, let that dry. I'm gonna go rinse this off so we can do the layer of red and white. Come on. Okay, we're back. It's still kind of wet, so we're gonna move more towards the sun. Almost stepped in bunny poop. Okay, right there. Okay, the next step we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put some red on here. Get off, oh my God, there's bees. Bees are starting to live in my SpongeBob pop. Leave, get out of here. I'm gonna go ahead. I don't know why I bought this much red. Just in case I ever start a SpongeBob pop school sculpture business in the future.
This will look really cool on the wall if it does look how I think it will in my head. Uh, too much. Uh, it's going down the back. That's okay though. Um, now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and wash my hands. Again. Now we need to add white. Oh my god, I almost fell on it. White for the, uh, well, we'll need it for the teeth, but we need white for the, uh, eyes and for this part of the pants. I take this stuff very seriously. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go ahead and get started on the eyes, and we also have to do the mouth. Just, it's funny, you think you have enough, and then it's like nowhere near what you need. We've been doing this for about an hour and a half now. It's kind of look like. Now the mouth. So funny because you can just mess this up so badly. And since SpongeBob popsicles just always look bad, it's just so fun. Okay, and since that uh, that white's not fully dry, we'll have to come back to that. Okay, so while we're waiting for some of that to dry, we're gonna go ahead and do the eyeball. Eyeballs! Go ahead and cut this, like an apple. So I know they're kind of uneven, but that's okay, because the more uneven, the funnier. At least in my opinion. We're gonna get a little messy with these ones, but that's okay. A little, maybe a lot of messy. Kind of has more of a gray look than black, but... Whatever. Our gumball eyes are done. We're gonna go ahead and let those dry. Okay, so the eyeballs are practically dry, and the way we're gonna get these into the SpongeBob Popsicle, we're gonna go ahead, I practiced with this one, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put a toothpick through it. That way the toothpick will be sticking out of the back side and we can just push it into the foam. Uh, that's the easiest way I thought of. We could use the glue, but I feel like, you know, the paint's still gonna be a little bit wet because this is going on hour three and a half of doing this. And I want to have this done before it gets dark out, so we're going to go ahead with the toothpick method. Okay, so we got the gumball eyes, and when these are actually on the pop school, I can go ahead and touch them up with paint. They're just going to get smudged no matter what, so let's take these outside. Now what we need to do is go ahead and add those teeth. Just kind of trying to dab it, because I don't want it to be pink teeth. And you know, by the end of this video, this will probably still be wet, but that's okay. I know what you're thinking, Brent, that looks so sloppy, but from a distance, you see where it's going. I'm telling you, when the eyes are on there, that completely makes it. Okay, now we gotta go ahead and put these eyes in. I'm telling you, this will complete this. One should go like right here. And then one should go like right there. Somewhat perfect. <laughs> I told you the eyes make it. Now, the popsicle stick. We're gonna try this glue. Oh, it's coming out already. Like I said, I, this is, everything I do is just an experiment. It's about having fun and it's about creating wonderful memories. Now what we have to do is we have to hold it there. Okay, we have to let it bind for two minutes. That is the best thing about SpongeBob popsicles. Like, yeah, if I was trying to like paint a perfect one, I'd be flipping out right now, but I have seen the worst SpongeBob popsicles. Like this, if I got this, I wouldn't think it was the worst one. I've had way worse. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the giant SpongeBob Popsicle. <laughs> Look how cool this is. It's giant. Look how big my giant Popsicle is. It is so big. It's the biggest SpongeBob Popsicle I've ever seen. I love it. I think it's amazing. I mean, for coming up with it on the spot and just making it up, this is so cool, look how big! So this was my SpongeBob Popsicle that I made. It's giant, it's probably like 15 times the size of a regular SpongeBob Popsicle. So let's go ahead and rate it. Well, for this SpongeBob Popsicle, let's go ahead and take a look at those eyes, those eyes! If you took a trip from that eye to that eye, your Uber ride would cost over a thousand dollars. Its teeth not even close to being perfect, and as a case of those iconic rabbit teeth. Pants not bad, what happened to the tie? It's a different color! This is far from being perfect. Well, everybody, this was my giant SpongeBob Popsicle construction video. I tried my best. I mean, we had some accidents. 
When it comes to making these, as I said, if you're not making a perfect one, you can make mistakes because the more accidents, the merrier. It just makes them look a lot funnier. But hey, as I said, that's gonna do for today's video. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you think I should attempt to make a perfect giant SpongeBob popsicle. That would be really tough because I can't make any mistakes. Go ahead and drop a follow on my Instagram at Brent Television for stickers. I have a sticker just like this one, www.brenttelevision.com. I'll even sign it for free. And well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I'm very proud of this. I have never been so proud of any piece of art in my life, but this one, this one takes first place. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone. <laughs> Brent TV, Brent TV, Brent TV has a video for me. Yeah. Brent TV, Brent TV, Brent TV has a video for me. Oh, now he's opening a popsicle, he's